Uh, yeah, the show. It, season four has just uh, dropped uh, a couple of weeks ago. Six, six weeks ago. No, no, four. It was about four or four. Cause they, yeah, because they had two episodes yeah. or three pack. Uh, yeah, and uh, it's been uh, absolutely just insane. They've almost unhinged at some points, if you ask me. Agreed. <laughs> Shit crazy. Um, um, there's a lot. Obviously, it's, abs- everyone's uh, obsessed with the show right now. It's like a major topic of discussion. It's peak, bro. It, 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 the peak. <laughs> the peak. Um, yeah, so, uh, Nikosh, what do you think of season four so far? I mean... I like I like anything the boys puts out really yeah. like t- to be honest with you I I know before the s- the season came out they were talking about oh it's the worst rated season in the world so like an eight point six or something which is a crazy high bar I liked it man it's still like the storytelling's been good uh, we can get more in, like into the episodes like as we like talk get into it here uh, for lack of a better word but. It's been cool, man. I, I like what they've been doing. Like the A train arc, I feel like is the best part of the, yeah. the season so far. Yeah. I don't know if you're feeling the same way. Yeah. Spoiler alert, by the way, forgot to mention. I was spoiler alert. Talking about the boys. You know? Well, yeah, true. <laughs> well, fucking, they should know about now. <laughs> just, that shit came out two days ago. <laughs> but yeah, um, the A train arc is cool. I like what they're doing with Butcher and like they're kind of giving everyone an arc except Homelander. So, yeah. They're giving Lion a reverse arc, like a like a what's that? Was it a redemption? Um. Just, I don't know. I don't know what the word is, but like you just, you're just a ship. <laughs> you're, you're, <laughs> just I don't know what the word is, but yeah. It's got to be an opposite, opposite word to redemption. Redemption? Redemption? Redemption would be. Redemption, no? no but I don't think redemption's a word. I don't think that's a word. I'm going to look it up, bro. Anyway, um. And to them. Um, it's, it's interesting, too, because people are, people are, people are so stupid, like the fans, and a lot of like fans of the boys. They don't really understand that, like, the boys is making fun of them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because, like, they'll be they'll be like... Well, yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> they'll be like, oh, like, Firecracker this, or Star Like This, or whatever. It's like, bro, the show's, the show's making fun of, like, conservative people with, like, bigot ideology. Yeah, but also, the show's also making fun of the, like, far-left liberal ideologists as well. Yeah, it makes fun it's of both. Make fun of everything. Right? Yeah. It's not just, it's not just, like, make fun of the conservatives. I know. But it's everything, right? People... I kind of not understanding that the show's kind of breaking down like actual like um, parts of like the modern day polit- political society, right? Like that's what the yeah. show is. Yeah, pretty much. It is, and that's that's what that's what I like about the show so much. And some people are saying like the show is making them uncomfortable when it comes to like the actual politics of it. But that's kind of like the point. You weren't uncomfortable in the fucking hero guys <laughs> other show, bro. Like people, that are- shit made me uncomfortable. I don't <laughs> care about fu- um fucking Starlight getting an abortion. <laughs> I don't care about that. <laughs> but like that, yeah, the show um, has always, like, and the show from the start, right? Not just, they haven't just started doing that in season four. No, thank God. The not. very first episode, they've been a parody of modern day, modern, modern day politics. That's what the, the whole show is. That's like a big part of the show. Obviously. No, I'll do that. I'll get that. <laughs> that's, that's what Vought kind of represents. And you have like home, like the home teamers and the star leaders being like the, the two, the two different sides, like the fucking far right. And the fact that's that's what the show Hundo, bro, Hundo. And and I, I think like looking looking past it, like just that. I it's it's so weird because the the social media surrounding any like major pop culture show or movie is always so interesting. Cause people just people just be seeing anything. It'll yeah. be like like the night before the boys comes out, some some person will tweet a picture of Ashley, it'll be like, hear me out. <laughs> and then the next day, like they'll quote you and be like, Never mind, y'all, my bad. Cause that that last episode, no, I don't episode. we can't like we can't like really get into it at the risk of like getting our video taken down or whatever. But like that show is fucked, bro. That show is fucked. Like they go to the tech caves. Yeah, just don't never go to a tech night party, bro. Yeah, they say don't go to a ditty party, yeah, bro. Don't go to a tech Woo! Don't go to a tech night <laughs> party. You know what's funny though? <laughs> when like when he was like, yeah. Tech that was like, yeah, my family's been in the slave trade for years. And then he looks at the age and he looks at the age and then and then and then he's like, oh you're fast, but we would have caught you. My grandpa my great grandpa would might have caught you. And he's like, I guess we'll never know. I guess we'll never know. Uh, Which is the, the funniest shit, bro, was when uh, they they're trying to hurt him, right? Or like, and obviously he likes pain because he's a masochist, whatever the word is. Masochist, yeah, masochist, yeah. And then uh, that that wasn't working, so they grab his uh, laptop and bro, open up that his- shit was so fucking funny, bro. <laughs> they open up his bank accounts, 
and then and this project. they started like giving money to so, like liberal people. like like liberal or like like uh humanitarian uh like organizations and then it's like a hundred <laughs> million a hundred million of black lives matter and no, not and those then people. That, that's what that's what broke it that's the reason that's what he spilled everything they say, okay they just want to use my prisons for fucking uh concentration camps yeah much. basically like internment which, camps yeah which is which is insane <laughs> the world building of this season has been like when i look at like season three i felt like definitely drove more like with season four i don't really feel like any episode necessarily drove the plot yeah like to war to what because like we still we, we still there's one more season right i don't feel like we've gotten anywhere story-wise because the whole no, point is to like take down Vought and to kill homelander essentially bro the amount of exposition in this series yeah. is crazy but that, you know what yeah. that's probably why like critics didn't like it as much yeah that's i, I feel like like even i was like i saw some tweets about it and they're like Bro, the season hasn't moved. Yeah, moved anyone anywhere. But, but what I'm, what I like about season is that, like, even though the whole goal hasn't been accomplished at all, it's building up to that with season five. Facts. Facts. And like, we, like the world building, like, like I said, with season three, season three, it really felt like okay, we're gonna take down Vought, and like every episode felt like we're getting closer and closer to that. Like episode, I think it was episode four, the yeah. scene of the Soldier Boy, and then that's where the whole problem started. Reverend's like, okay, well, you know. And then was like, okay, Soldier Boy killed my family. I can't work with him. And then they, like, you know, obviously Huey and Butcher were like, no, we have to do this the only way. And then episode eight felt like we're actually finally get that. We had that final fight, which was insane, right? Everyone was there. Ryan, Homelander, everyone was there. Soldier Boy. Cooked. And then Soldier Boy got cooked. Obviously, uh, Homelander's still alive. Not the kid. <laughs> Not the kid. It's, no. it's my wife's son. It's Not the kid. <laughs> It's crazy. But like, that's what I'm saying. So wor the world building of season four has been insane. Like, we've learned so much about the actual universe of the boys this season. Yeah. Because they've actually like taken the time well, to, like, to like, yeah, to go over what, what else is, is happening in the universe that's going to like build up to what's ha going to happen in season five. They've like expanded on like the amount of characters and stuff yeah. too. Like Web Weaver. And yeah, Web Weaver, Sister Sage. Web we like Firecracker as well. Yeah. Uh, and just like going to like the bios of people like like shit like that. Yeah, and that's, and also with Sister Sage, what's so interesting is that uh, like how her powers work. Like she she kind of has a weakness, right? Like yeah, if you like fuck, I mean shit, you shot in the brain. It's probably bad for anyone, yeah, right? But like her brain bro, possibly, but like that shit was so like, funny, bro. When Homeland is getting cooked by all the politicians <laughs> and it listens to her, and she's eating the kajiga. <laughs> that's how we cry. And then Newman like like ants because she's a fucking politician. Yeah. And then she looks at Sage and they're like <laughs> she's. <laughs> But also, I think it also, this is the only season I feel like, uh, not uh, maybe I don't, not, not remembering previous seasons, but uh, we're exploring like the magic system a bit more. Like, we're seeing like we, how the the certain powers having like drawbacks or weakness. That's not something we really Holy fuck, bro, Starlight hasn't done yeah, shit in yeah. like two seasons. But like, what I'm saying is like, that's this is the first time I'm seeing like, okay, this is the, like, we're seeing power upgrades and like yeah. drawbacks to certain powers. We don't really, really see that before like seasons one, two, and three. Right. Or in like any like superhero yeah. movie, to be honest, yeah, it's true. all like, like the only drawbacks here when they're like learning how to use them, and after that, it's like yeah, really funny. yeah. I think that that's also really cool. That's the first time we've actually actually explored that, right? Like I said, when I brought Sister Sage, right, her brain is constantly regenerating, but if you like, if she gets brain damage, it has to heal. So yeah. like, she's not gonna like she, she loses like her brain power for like a set like, until until fully because that's why she was just like eating cake and didn't want didn't know, didn't know what to film. The scene, the scene with the deep. Yeah, and uh, that's all I'll say about that. <laughs> that's all I'll say. I was that insane. Thing. That was insane. Yeah. I, should, I couldn't actually watch it. Yeah. Yeah. I looked away. I couldn't actually watch that because it's, 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 it's crazy too because like you think of everything you see in the boys. That was a scene that I was like, bro, that's fucking gross. And also, I, I oh, the Tech Knight shit. I, oh, the fucking Web Weaver yeah. stuff was yeah. nasty too, bro. Ah. Oh, I want to fucking throw up. You fucking farted on MN, bro. All right, bro. All right, bro. <laughs> you don't need to fucking rehash that. But, but Malka, where do you where do you think like, like what do you, how do you think this season ends? There's two more episodes left. So, I so we know that the next episode is called The Insider, and then the final episode is called Assassination Run, which is that's an insane episode title. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming if it's anything like the title, it's gonna be a lot of dying. <laughs> Type shit. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I know that it'd be easier for next season five, knowing that that's the final season. Because we know, okay, certain characters are going to die, right? I wonder if they'll, like, do spinoffs and stuff. Oh, uh, well, I mean, there's, I mean, there is, there is Gen V, which isn't really, which isn't actually a spinoff. What's interesting about Gen V is that it's literally a canon show that's running at the fucking same time. Yeah, it's not like, it's not, it's not a spinoff. Do you know any other shows are like that? Like, can, both are canon, both are canon, same universe, but they're, but they're not, like, but they're airing at the same time. 
I do. I, the only time that ever happened that I can remember is like they had The Walking Dead and they have Fear the Walking Dead. Which were like at the same time. They were at the same time. Okay. Yeah. Because like that's like. And eventually they made the stories connect. Yeah. Yeah. That's really interesting. I've never seen a show. Because usually like a show ends, then you get a Gen V. Then you get, then you get yeah, exactly. Yeah. Not like, oh, four, well, three seasons well, of the boys. Well, Gen V is just this one thing and then it just, then the boys yeah. just air, right? But Gen V is still like. It's the characters pop out all the time. Yeah. Homelander show up at Gen V. Yeah. And fucking, all their names, K-N. Kate and Sam. They were, they popped out. Yeah. They were glazing Homelander. <laughs> they popped out to glaze Homelander, bro. <laughs> that's fucking crazy. But yeah, we're, as for where this season ends, I don't I don't know. Some people have theories that uh, Homelander dies this season, and then Butcher becomes the the, uh, the main villain for the final season. Butcher finna die, too. Well, he's gonna, well, <laughs> yeah, he's probably gonna die. But like, at, at some point. I don't know. You have the was, fucking tumor on his brain. saying that's going to happen because the virus, uh, if it becomes, if he goes through with it and they make it to where it's going to stay, it's, it's, uh, it's strong to kill Homelander, but it's too unstable, then they could, I could definitely see a plot where like they, they're trying to stop Butcher from doing that. I could definitely see that happening. And at that point, Homelander. No, but, but then I, have, like, I feel like with that, it's like, what's the point of Homelander dying? That's, that's, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of that. Homelander's not dying in the, they're not going to have a whole season without Anthony Starr. Yeah, no. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. But um, I could see definitely people turning on Butcher. I mean, that's already it's happened. Already, it's already it's happened. happened. But I mean, like, so like the grave extent was like, okay, we got to kill it, right? I know that in the comic, which is a very different piece of media. So then, like, not the same thing. Basically not the same thing. There's a lot of, like, it's more like East, like, I like when the show references comics, it's usually like in an Easter egg form. Yeah. In like an actual, like, lore way where it's like, these things are, this is what's supposed to be of the universe because they've, they've derived so much from the comics because the comics are like way more. If you think the show was depraved and like violent and everything, the, the comics takes that like like twenty fold. <laughs> like it's so worse. I know a lot of people haven't even read them. Yeah, they just watch yeah, the show. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. <laughs> you don't need to read like the comics aren't actually. It's not like Invincible where like, the comics aren't. Canon. They're literally like almost following like, it. Yeah, yeah, they change up some things to make the show more fluid, but the comics are what the show is becoming. Right. Yeah, always very different. Right. There's also characters that are in the show that aren't in the comics at all. And uh, and character like Soldier Boy in the comics isn't at all Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy is one of my favorite characters. He's so cold. He's so, no, he's I, cool. He's just I mean, a racist. I mean, yeah, he's he's good. Well, but we have how, <laughs> and haven't we dealt with some racism in our lives? You know what I mean? But yeah, um, uh, so like when I brought up the comics, uh, in I know that the final arc in the comics, like everyone essentially ends up turning on Butcher. Uh, it makes sense because <laughs> he um. Uh, I forgot what happened. They tr- basically at that point, Homelander was dead, and he was just, but he had just gone off the rails and was just starting to basically genocide all the soups. I, I believe that's fucking crazy, which, which is similar to what's happening in the show. Yeah, well, what what could happen in the show? So, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for me though, like I think I think like. A train seems like a guaranteed death. Yeah, that's unfortunately because yeah. I fuck with man's fuck with A train now. Um, he's I mean, you know he's starting his his arcs getting getting bigger. Yeah, and I don't know if he dies in the season finale or in the in the next episode. I think it's gotta be one of them. It's it's one or the other. I, I'd probably say I put bets on probably the season finale because that's gonna be insane. Yeah, a lot of people. I mean, if you've watched Invincible as well, a lot of people have brought up like if Homelander and uh, A train were to fight, it would just end up like Red Rush and Omni Man. Which I mean, no, yeah, not, but yeah, but Omni is a bitch. <laughs> compared to well, compared to Omni Man, Omni Man all he does is stand on business, bro. <laughs> all he like, does wiped out an entire city just just to show Mark. Like, yeah, type shit though. Yeah, like if... he had to let him know, like, and then on on Thraxa, Tra- was it Thraxa? <laughs> yeah, Thraxa. Yeah. yeah, he was like, Mark, bro, I gotta lock. I know you don't fuck with me, but like, you gotta lock <laughs> in. You gotta lock in. That's basically what he said. So you gotta lock in. And I think with the boys, motherfuckers, Homelander's like. When you like tier rank villains, oh, he's he's is he like he's one of the greatest villains? He's like up there. I mean, because and I know a lot of people will give him like give him, I don't know, some people just buy the new media credit. I think, yeah, it's, yeah, I was about to say Reese C. Bynes. Yeah, a lot of people, just but even, bro, even if you were like the first three seasons, which when the boys call 2019, 2019, yeah. yeah, bro, that's now it's been like six years, five years. That's I, enough time. I think, I think he's been around enough, like long enough to be like, okay, like he's one of the best villains in fiction, like just straight up. I find it like a top five villains in fiction. It would be like well, Than- would you, would you, would you just Thanos, Thanos, Joker, Darth Vader, and only. Yeah, I think 
Thanos is definitely in mine. Bro, Thanos is like Darth Vader is in mine too. I see it. Because Darth Vader is like iconic. Yeah. And like one of the first like like sci fi like big villains like that. Thanos. I mean, with Thanos <laughs> and Joker too, it's like Joker, and then I feel like Homelander. Well, Wonder's up there. Well, not, like, what do y'all think? Like, like in the comments, like, like home. What's your top five? Would you, or, or like, where would you rank Homelander in terms of villains, like fictional? Villains? I feel like he's confidently top ten. Yeah, and and like, I think is on Om- Omni Man's in there? Uh, no, I'm not. I mean, he's not really. A villain. Is he a villain? No. no. Like, okay, at. The end of season one of Vince would yes, but at the, the in the entire the show. No, I assume like over the comments yeah. too. He's not like a villain. No, he's not. He's not. Yeah, in the entire the show, no, that's so, so. So not him. Yeah, low key, bro. I'm trying to think, bro. Some other crazy villains. Like I fuck with I fuck with Ultron, like from Age of Ultron, but like he's not top ten though. Just because like the like the cinematic Ultron wasn't that crazy. He was like all right. Trying to trying to look at the wall and. Shit. <laughs> What about like Kevin Durant? Where is Fuck you, bro. I mean, he's not. Oh, Loki, bro. Loki, bro. bro. He's a dope. Loki, Megatron, bro. Megatron? Yeah. Or Shredder? Shredder's got to be in there too, bro. Megatron, Shredder, like Thanos. Any, any iteration of Shredder? Yeah, like just Shredder in general. Shredder? Like the, the lore of Shredder. Because, yeah, Shredder's like. Yeah. Shredder's definitely up. Fucking Dr. Eggman. Dr. Eggman. I mean, he's. he's <laughs> Right, he's not alright. He's That's blazing, bro. <laughs> no, <he is. laughs> I'm saying fucking Mewtwo. <laughs> Mewtwo's not a villain. Or who's the villain? Uh, the, like villain. Oh, he gets so like like Garrettino. I don't know. Fuck Garrettino, bro. I got I got that Pokemon EX card. <laughs> but anyway, Loki, Mitch Marner, bro. You know, Mitch Marner. Nah, he's not a villain. Like, he's a villain to me. He's, not a villain he's to number me. one he's on my list. Not a villain. Number one. <laughs> yeah, he is. It's a villainous act in that for in that film. Is the Bron a villain? When he was on the Heat. When he was on the Heat. Okay, fictional villains, fictional villains, fictional villains. Because what are you going to put, like... I was about to say something fucked up. My bad. Like, I feel like... I feel like, uh... Um... Like, Thanos, Darth Vader, uh, uh... Homelander, Joker. Oh, like some Spider-Man villains, like Green Goblin. Uh, like, Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin. That was kind of like, crazy. It's, yeah, but like... I mean, maybe... maybe Even Dr. Octopus... Okay, maybe, mm, maybe top fifty. I don't know, like, cause I'm talking about like, like, like peak, like, like peak, like Joker. That's one of the most peak. Villains yeah, I true. Know. In in film, like Darth yeah. Vader too. Like he's in the same realm. I'm not too too familiar with Star Wars, so like trust me, everyone. But everyone I know trust says me, that Darth. Vader's trust like, me, bro. Darth Vader got that aura. Darth Vader got aura. I'm, I'm gonna look this up. Top ten fictional villains. Let's see. Let's see what the internet's saying. Um, Anakin Skywalker, not no villain. Fuck you. Oh, they're saying like like Voldemort. That makes sense. Um, it, Mike Myers, like horror villains, that makes sense too. Freddy Krueger, Freddy, bro. Norman Bates, oh, Emperor Palpatine. Uh, I don't know half of these people. God fucking damn. Gollum, not familiar with Gollum. Uh, Kylo Ren is not seven. This list fucking sucks. <laughs> what, what the fuck is this? Do you have Darth Vader number one? Hey, Loki, you know what? Loki, I mean, like, uh, depends, depends which I don't. Darth Vader is probably number one. This list didn't have Thanos, though. Yeah. I don't know Thanos. I also didn't have all like, I feel like this. Like, no, it was movies, though. Oh, oh, only movies? Yeah. Oh, shit, I didn't realize it. And it's all movies. It's a fiction. Shit, maybe, we'll, maybe next episode, we'll get a definitive list. We'll make a definitive list. list. Okay. All right, so we'll, we'll, leave, we'll leave that topic there. But you know what, guys? Drop in the comments your top five or top ten fictional villains, current, like, of all time. Yeah. Um, whatever form. Like the lore of them instead of like, so I hate the argument where it's like, oh, comic Thanos? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bro. Shut the fuck up. It's just whatever. This is the, the best version. They're how about sure, in their prime. In their prime. Yeah. Like, we, we do you throw a This is like, okay. <laughs> we just have to put money to the It's like, it's, which Joker? Animated Joker? <laughs> no. We don't have time for that. No one has time for that, bro. Respectfully, no. I, 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 I,